Friday, September 8, 2023. Good morning. Can I take your order? It's the JoJo and Lily Show. It's very good to be true. On WFGY Altoona, Froggy 981, and WFGE State College. Big Froggy 101. My t shirt in my ride, running circles in my mind. Jojo and Lily on Froggy Radio. Yeah, if you're listening to the show on Big Froggy 101, just so you know, Lily and I don't cut the song and just no. go to our show. The way that it's set up, it's 6 o'clock. The show starts. We've addressed the issue. I've been multiple times. Don't get mad at us or say we're stupid or whatever. <laughs> it's not us. Yeah, you have to be nice to us because we're bribing you today with yeah. Zach Ryan tickets. <laughs> you have to pretend you like us today, at least. So here it is. It's You probably heard. Maybe you were tagged. Welcome to the program. Some of you might be listening for the first time and or the last time. It's good to have you here while you're here. Sometime between now and 10 this morning, we're going to answer the phone. And if you're on the other end, you get two tickets to see Zach Bryan, BJC, March 12th. The number to call is area code 814-941-9898. No other number will be valid. If anybody but myself or Lily happens to answer... That doesn't count. Yeah. My thoughts are it's probably going to spill out from the studio into people's offices. And mm-hmm. So if Margie in sales answers, you don't you don't win. Do, <laughs> do we have a Margie yet in sales? We do not. We no. will. We will. <laughs> we will. So if you're calling, if you get a ringing, you might get really excited and we might answer. Or yeah. it might ring a certain number of times and then disconnect. That's just how the phones work. I'm looking at all these people tagged. 116 or so comments or more, actually. All these people say tagging their friends, their family members. I will say there is a couple scams in here. If yeah. you see somebody in our Facebook post on JoJo Radio Facebook, if you see somebody saying, I won't be able to make this event. I have four tickets for sale. Yeah, it's somebody in uh, the you know, Philippines or yep. it's, a, it's a bot or something. It's not real. Especially since most people haven't gotten their hands on Zach Bryan it's, tickets since they don't go on sale to the public right. until 10. Yeah. Don't click any link. No. Don't fall for anybody that says you're a winner. Unless you hear this voice. Or this voice. Or both. You haven't won. Okay. Do you understand? Well, of course I do. Good. Why did I do this contest again? I don't know. But you the amount of... could have just coasted through a Friday and gone home for the weekend. But you hate doing that. Right, exactly. Like, we save all of why well, lately, we used to do all of our work in the beginning of the week. So then now Friday. we've got to pile up Friday, so we're buried. Yeah. Why? We haven't done our podcast this nope. week. No. I have two things I got to produce after this just sitting, waiting for me. Right. Well, I guess let's just try to get through this. More Froggy Radio next with JoJo and Lily. Hey, I'm feeling snacky. That's amazing. I'm feeling snacky, too. Know what that makes us. What? Crunch Buddies. Hey, looks like somebody went to Davison Snacks Outlet. You know it, Crunch Buddy. Davison Snacks Outlet is the store that looks like a snack to anyone who wants a snack. Okay, that's a little weird. Is it, though? Davison Snacks Outlet has the best snacks at the best prices. And when you're feeling snacky, nothing's better than that. Davison Snacks Outlet outlet in Duncansville is ready for back to school. All the crunchy snacks, salty snacks, sweet snacks, and meat snacks you need to pack for lunches. Available in bulk and small sizes. The Davison Snacks Outlet store is stocked with a huge variety of local and Pennsylvania made snacks to satisfy cravings and put a smile on your face. Check out their new and improved website at davisonsnacks.com and find Davison Snacks Outlet on Facebook. 141 Innovation Drive in the former NAC building Y Switches. Open Tuesday through Friday 9 to 5, Saturdays 9 until one. There's no better feeling than pulling into your driveway and knowing that you have the beauty, peace, and calm that comes along with an amazing outdoor living space. While it may seem like a pipe dream, you can bring your backyard dreams to life at Cove Landscape and Pool Center. 
This hour of the best in most country on Froggy 98.1 is powered by Five Star Mitsubishi Altoona. It doesn't get better than this. Froggy weather. Early patchy fog, otherwise partly sunny today with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Some of those storms could be very severe. The high will be in the mid-80s. Mostly cloudy tonight with showers and thunderstorms possible. Low around 63. And cloudy on Friday with a chance of showers and thunderstorms and a high around 80. Let's hop back into the JoJo and Lily show now on Froggy. Responsible for any phones smashed or thrown against the wall out of frustration this morning. First of all, I'd like to just let you know that. Yeah, well, part of me wants to answer the phone right now just to end it. It's you don't think it's too early. Part of me just wants to come right over here to the phone mm-hmm. and just take a call right now. No, they're saying no. What the voices in your head? Yes. Well, we have to listen to them. <laughs> it gets bad for me in here if I yeah. don't. Yeah. Good morning, Shannon, who says, my kid actually set his alarm, got up without a fight this morning, (laughs) so he could start trying to win these tickets. That's why. But thank you. (laughs) He'll be trying until the bus shows up. Well, good luck to you, buddy. Kennedy reached out and said, my husband has me awake calling at 6 a.m. I never win anything. I hope I do today. The husband has her calling. The husband has her calling, yep. Look at that. (laughs) <laughs> All right, so there's 566 new words out there, according to dictionary.com. What? Don't look at this. I'm not. I'm going to give you these words. Yeah. And you have to take your best guess on the definition. Okay. Having no idea what this is. And when did a word in the dictionary become allowable as two words? I don't know. For example, the first one. Coffee nap. nap. What is a coffee nap, Lily? A coffee nap? Is that when you drink decaf and take a nap? (laughs) Drink decaf and take a nap. And I, I, and I, but I agree. When did that become allowed? Right. While we were sleeping, there was 566 new words created. So I guess you weren't totally wrong. Short nap, usually 15 to 30 minutes taken immediately after a cup of coffee. People claim you wake up feeling super energized if you do this. I, I disagree. Thought coffee, I thought the caffeine was jacking people up. I, I drank a little bit of coffee yesterday after work. I, and then Sam was taking a nap. So I was like, I'm going to try and take a nap. I could not fall asleep. Right. And when I finally did, I woke up groggy. So I disagree, but okay. Next word that popped up overnight. Mm-hmm. What do you think the definition of blur's day is? Blur's, blur's day. day. Blur's day. Is that yes. when you're hungover? Lily wants to know if that's when you're hungover. It is a day not easily easily distinguished from other days. Oh. Um, or the phenomenon of days running together. Who, who, who? So for us, every day is Blur's Day. Great. Okay. Good to know. Shower orange. Shower orange when you eat an orange in the shower. Absolutely right. An orange that is peeled and eaten in a steamy shower. People claim it's soothing. I, to me, it sounds disgusting. But I will take a shower beer. Well, you don't beer. like oranges. Right. Unfortunately for you, all country songs have the word orange in them now. I know. <laughs> I know. Or two, I, or but, two country you know, songs. I like Blue Moon, but I don't like oranges. Weird. And they always give you an orange slice with a Blue Moon. Ugh. You can say I don't want the orange slice. I always forget. I always forget. That sounds like a you problem. It is. What other word can I challenge you with here? Okay, how about this one? Jugging. Jugging. Right. Is that when you are chugging your big jug of water like we have? (laughs) No, it's when a criminal waits near a store or ATM to rob you. Oh, okay. Well, good to know that one. Yeah, I hope you find that useful. (laughs) Yeah, when I go to... I got jugged! (laughs) What? But but it's still mugged. Right. Now, final word. Mm -hmm. John. J-A-W-N. Is that what people say in, for, I mean, I hear people say it a lot, John. From the area where you were raised. Yes, yes. No, I don't hear people here say that. Right. But, and you, but what are they talking about when they say it? I'm so well, old. You're from that area and you don't know? Is that what they call, yeah. 
Uh, the place? Yeah, I, yeah I, I don't know. They you think I, it's a place? Like, I hear people call everywhere like that. Yeah. You, I don't you like, hear people like call. if they're sitting, or like they call like a thing that, like, I don't know. How I think works. I just saw a spring pop out of Lily's ear. Just go on. A filler word used by people yes. in Philadelphia when they can't think of the name of something. Like, hey, can you hand me that John right there? That's what I was, see, I couldn't put into words, but when they're trying to say something about like a thing, whatever. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Hand me that John. Yeah. But that's not new. Well, they just added it. Oh, okay. It's not even a real word, and they've <laughs> added it to the dictionary. This is the times we live in, my friends. <laughs> well, another reason, I guess, for people to hate Philly. Just babble. <laughs> By the way, Lily's wearing an Eagles shirt today, ladies and gentlemen. I am. Yes. That's Lily. Stop. And her phone number is area Stop. code. Stop. JoJo and Lily return next on Froggy. Five star Mitsubishi. It doesn't get better than this. Mitsubishi builds it. You doesn't get better than this. Don't miss the American Legion County Fair in Ebensburg Sunday, September 3rd through Saturday, September 9th. Visit cancer.org slash drive to learn more. I'm Amy Markle with your morning news update. More than 170,000 Pennsylvania residents have enrolled in the new federal student loan program. It won't be available until October. That's your morning news update. Let's hop back into the JoJo and Lily show on Froggy Radio. Ridiculous. It's silly. That's what we love about it. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's funny. Time now for the face palm of the day. The stories that make you go, go! on Froggy 92.9. This is probably the craziest and funniest story I've ever told on face palm of the day. I think it's great. Uh, but the U.S. Coast Guard arrested a 44-year-old man named Ariza Bellucci. I hope I'm saying that name right, but um, they arrested him after a days-long standoff with the guy. Uh, he was just trying to get to London by crossing the Atlantic. Just trying to do it, but um, on his homemade human-sized floating hamster wheel. <laughs> now, Belushi was rescued 70 miles off the coast of Tybee Island, Georgia, so he did make some headway. Um, and he was arrested on August 26th with the Coast Guard telling him, that is, floating hamster wheel wasn't safe for some reason. I don't know. Probably because it's homemade and it's a hamster wheel and you're in the middle of the ocean. How are you going to survive on that thing? Um, but he threatened to set off a bomb that he had on board if anyone tried to apprehend him. And finally, after days of trying to get this guy, the Coast Guard finally was able to get Bellucci to disembark his... <laughs> human-sized floating hamster wheel and um, also revealed that he did not have a bomb on board, that he made that up. It was fake. Uh, but apparently this guy's tried this stunt several times in the past, once in 2014, 16, and 2021. And each time, the Coast Guard has stopped him. <laughs> now, he's facing federal charges like obstruction of boarding, not following directions. I mean, what what possessed this man to just wake up one day and was like, I think I'm going to cross the Atlantic in a human-sized hamster wheel. <laughs> then again, what possessed me to wake up one day and decided it was a good idea to be on the radio? From the top of the morning all the way to the bottom. What is going on? It's Mornings with Amber. On Froggy 92.9. This is Froggy. Froggy 92.9. 
92.9. Best Buck in the Bay Gay Rodeo is back. Saturday and Sunday, September 9th and 10th at the Russian River Rodeo Grounds in Duncan's Mills. It's brought to you by GoGreenFinancing.com. South of Napa, a closure for So School Avenue. The left lane is closed in both directions between Silver Auto Trail and Amola Avenue for some road work. And a closure still in place in Glen Ellen for Highway 12. Both directions between Bedrone Road and Agua Caliente. That's due to some bridge demolition work through October 5th. Make home more comfortable. Make your business run better and make California just a little greener in the process. Plan your energy efficiency upgrade. Find qualified contractors and attractive rates at gogreenfinancing.com. I'm Gretchen with your Froggy North Bay traffic. Froggy. Froggy 92.9, it's Mornings with Amber. So do you have a crazy bee or wasp story to share? 6361-HOP. So I recently saw on Instagram that actress and comedian Chelsea Handler got stung by a wasp on her face. She shared this photo of her swollen eye. Yuck. Now, she also said that she did not provoke this wasp, that she was just in her bedroom and she got stung. And I think that's just rude. You're minding your own business. You're reading a book. You're doing your makeup. And boom, sting her to the face. I have had a run-in with a wasp before. I was getting picked up from school for my dad. I think I was in late middle school, early high school, something like that. When the uh, flare jeans were really popular. And again, just like Chelsea Handler, minding my own business, and a wasp flies up the leg of my pants and I could not get it out. My dad had to pull over to the side of the road. I had to take off my pants to get the wasp out, but before I could take it off, it stung me. And it was the worst day of my life. (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) It wasn't too bad. It really was not that bad. I'm I'm so lucky. But I want to hear from you. Do you have a crazy bee or wasp 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 story six three six one hop? I got Emma from Petaluma on the phone. What's up, Emma? Yeah, I work with four and five year olds and we were out on our playground one day and there were about three or four bees that were flying around and so we had twelve kids that were all screaming <laughs> and so we opened the door yes. to let the kids go inside and all three bees flew into the classroom. <laughs> so We took all the kids back outside, and the bees followed them outside, and then we finally got the bees back into the classroom, and I took my shoe off with the other teacher and I, and so we were running around our classroom barefoot trying to catch these bees to kill them, and the kids were all standing outside watching us screaming. (laughs) We finally caught them all and killed them all and everything, but the kids were just going nuts, and it was ridiculous. Nobody got stung, thankfully. Oh, thank goodness, but that sounds like absolute pure chaos. Catch your music first thing in the morning. Mornings with Amber. On Froggy 92.9. Froggy 92.9. Good morning. I'm Peter Finch with news headlines this hour brought to you by Blindster.com. The pedestrian who died this week after being hit by a pickup truck in Santa Rosa has been identified. He was 56-year-old Alejandro Hernandez. Hernandez was hit around noon Wednesday when he ran across the street as a pickup truck was turning left onto westbound Sebastopol Road west of Dutton Avenue. The 70-year-old man driving the truck stayed on the scene and cooperated with police. Hurricane Lee has been upgraded to a Category 5 hurricane. The good news is that it's out in the Atlantic Ocean where it can't do much damage. Called Blindster.com. From the KSRO Newsroom, I'm Peter Finch. And here's Gretchen with Froggy North Bay Traffic. It's brought to you by eBay Motors. The North Bay Ride on 101 into Santa Rosa. Check it in problem-free. 17 minutes from the Petaluma River to Highway 12. Southbound 101 moving well into town. It's 12 minutes from Healdsburg Avenue to Highway 12. You do anything to keep your vehicle happy. Let's make sure it stays running smoothly. With eBay Guaranteed Fit, the right parts are just a click away. When you see the green check, you know that part will fit. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBayMotors.com. Let's ride. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. I'm Gretchen with your Froggy North Bay Traffic. 
Sonoma County's country station. Country through and through. Right now. Froggy 92.9. With the most country. Mornings with Amber. On Froggy 92.9. All the gear makes your clothes fall on. Froggy 92.9, it's mornings with Amber. You're not going to get a divorce. A quickie divorce will be fine. She wanted a divorce in Reno. That's the magic of divorce. I'm getting a divorce. Consider that a divorce. When it's time to get a divorce, women got it made. They go to court. I will divorce you so fast, it'll make your head spin. So the latest celebrities to get a divorce are Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. If you don't know who they are... Joe Jonas is from the Jonas Brothers, and Sophie Turner played Sansa in Game of Thrones. That is pretty much what made her famous. Apparently, the two decided to get divorced after Joe saw something on their ring doorbell camera. Joe either overheard something or saw Sophie do something that made him realize that their marriage was over. This is all allegedly Okay, these are rumors. These are things people are saying and reading on TMZ. But those ring doorbells can get you in trouble or you might do something embarrassing. I've never seen anything weird on (laughs) a ring doorbell camera before. So nothing exciting over here. Maybe for you, though, 6361 Hop, have you ever busted your spouse doing something on the ring doorbell camera? Maxine from Owner Park is on the phone. Maxine, you said that... um, you caught your husband doing something funny on the camera? I've caught him dancing. Oh. And he's not a dancer. <laughs> he does not like to dance. He will not dance. Um, I've tried to get this man to dance out in public, and he will not do it. Okay, so what was the dancing like? No rhythm, no beat. Um, it, he's stiff when he dances. Um, he just is not with the rhythm. <laughs> it, it, he has n- n- no beat to his step. Basically, <laughs> it, it's like a child trying to learn how to dance. They, there's no rhythm and no step. Um, he's stiff. He doesn't move his hips or anything um, or his hands. So he's he, he's not very good at dancing at all. Okay, so how did you react? I mean, did you tell him that you uh, saw him doing this jig? I laughed at him, and I made him feel bad, <laughs> and he laughed, but then I told, I told him, I said, see, this is why I've been trying to dance with you, is to teach you how to dance better than that. <laughs> so, yeah, so he, he doesn't like anybody to see him dance. Hey, here we go again. Mornings with Amber. I can't help but sing along. Froggy 92.9. Okay, and I get everyone's attention. Froggy 92.9, KFGY, Hillsburg, Santa Rosa. Sonoma County's home for today's country. This is Froggy 92.9. Froggy 92.9, good morning. I'm Peter Finch with news headlines this hour, brought to you by Staples Stores. Santa Rosa police report the arrest of two possible...